It would be very difficult to describe in a short six-minute video just what the concerned citizens of Jack County means to its patrons. It means many different things to many different people, and yet none of them would be the thriving senior citizens they currently are without it. Try explaining to your mother that the Meals on Wheels she has been enjoying for the past several years will no longer be available. Or try telling your next door neighbor that the van he has so vehemently relied on to take him for his weekly dialysis treatments will soon be a thing of the past. And you know those 18,000, yes, I did say 18,000 meals that were prepared in 2014 to the ones who regularly come to the center to enjoy the food as well as the fellowship? Well, just suppose we had to tell all of those who enjoyed those 18,000 meals that we would no longer be able to provide this meal to them. Thankfully, because of each and every one of you here tonight, and others too who are not present, we are hopeful that that will never happen. Because of your generosity, we are as vibrant as ever. It has always been our goal to serve the senior citizens of Jack County with compassion. Our budget has never been as lean as it currently is. State and federal budgetary cuts have caused us to rely more heavily on locally donated funds. It is with great pride that we share with you that the 2014 fundraising dinner alone raised sufficient funds to cover 25% of our total budget. That is what makes Jacksboro, Jack County, and the concerned citizens so special. We all rise to the occasion when necessary and care for each other. That is what makes this evening so special. Every one of you sitting here tonight genuinely cares about Jacksboro and the citizens that have called this place home for so many years. We care about the aging population of Jacksboro citizens and the quality of the life that they have here. The center provides a delicious, hot, nutritious noontime meal, blood pressure monitoring, computer classes, and a beautiful facility in which to gather and call home. One may find it amazing that the staff at the Concerned Citizens made over 14,000 telephone calls last year alone to individuals making sure they were doing well and spending a few precious minutes talking to them, knowing that it is more than likely the only human voice they would hear all day with the exception of the television. When one realizes that over 40,000 meals were served in 2014 by the Concerned Citizens of Jack County, it doesn't take long to fully comprehend the impact we are making on Jacksboro and her senior citizens. Will there be challenges ahead of us? Of course, but we are strongly committed that we will continue to serve our elderly with the pride and dignity they deserve. This is a commitment that began in 1977 and is as alive and vibrant today as it was at her conception. A huge thank you from the bottom of our hearts to each of you here this evening from the Jacksboro High School Fellowship of Christian Athletes, who graciously parked our cars and served as our escorts, to Kathy Warnell and the countless number of kitchen waitstaff volunteers, to David Carpenter, an accomplished musician who traveled from Dallas to donate his time and talents, not to mention that 100% of the proceeds of the sale of his CD tonight will benefit us. Jeff Lewis for emceeing and auctioneering tonight's event, the fundraising committee, the board of directors of Concerned Citizens, and lastly and more importantly, Rosanna Jones Briscoe, our director. Her unwavering dedication and spirit with the Concerned Citizens of Jack County has been an amazing journey. It truly took a village to make tonight possible and each and every senior citizen who benefits from this facility thanks you for your part. 
Our vow to you is that we will always strive to be good stewards of the resources provided to the concerned citizens of Jack County. And this is a promise that we will forever keep. Well, there's something that's younger than me, but there's a bunch of them around my age. And I'm 84. And I'm fortunate I'm still able to, to do it. And it uh, makes me, like I said, makes me feel a little better because uh, I will be on that end someday, probably, if I live long enough. And a lot of them people, I enjoy talking, of course. I know that. You know, a lot of those people may not see anybody else that day. So I like to visit with them a little bit. Some of them I've known for years and years anyway. That's about all I did. Okay. I started with uh -huh. uh, Concerned Citizens of Jack County Incorporated right. back in 1977 when I joined the board. And it's been an interesting time all through the, till now. And now I'm just on the fundraising committee and yeah. one of the main things about coming to Concerned Citizens is that there's people to talk to face to face. You can talk to all the people you want to over the telephone, but it's not like being here with friends. And you do make new friends down here. And the food is good. And of course, I don't, haven't gotten to the point where I have to have meals delivered at home, but that's a possibility someday. And also, they can take you to places on their van. So I, it's a wonderful place to be. Thank you. Oh, I come down here because the food is wonderful. And it's food that I need. So that's why I come down here. It's a good place to go. It gets me out dressed and gets me out. And I, I love the ones that come down here. I love being with them. Well, thank you, Bernice. Okay, Billy, tell us in your own words what the Concerned Citizens means to you. There's so many things, good things to say about Concerned Citizens. I'm 82 years old now and live alone. All my children are gone. So it's comforting to know that I can have friends, be with friends that have the same wants and loves that I have. I enjoy c coming down and playing bingo and the movie nights are so nice to share with each other. And the meals, as you can tell by looking, are very good. Many <laughs> pounds. Thank you. Gwen, what does the Concerned Citizens mean to you? It means a lot. I like to be with my friends, and I also enjoy not having to cook, but they're always doing so much for us. In fact, they really, really spoil us, make us feel special. And I'm so glad that I got my hair done today.